Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about NLE Chopper. Now, NLE Chopper is getting sued. He got a lawsuit hanging over his head. And it, the wild part about this is he's getting sued by an Atlanta rap legend by the name of Kilo Ali. Now, for some of you, Kilo Ali is a distant, you never heard of him, you wouldn't even understand the influence of Kilo Ali on Atlanta hip-hop, man. Dude really put it down back in the day with the Dungeon family, the Dungeon crew, and really incorporating the old Atlanta bounce music to the new Atlanta sound that the Outkast was bringing. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense to anybody. I know people from Atlanta, that's going to make 100% sense to you. But everybody else might not understand that. So we're going to tap into that a little bit. But also, we're going to talk about the specifics of this lawsuit because it's one song specifically that everybody is going to be like, what? And man, it's wild. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Kilo Ali suing NLE Chopper. Now, I'm going to be going by a story from musicbiznewsworld.com, and they break down the lawsuit. Man, it's, it's a great write-up. We'll say that much, right? Now, the headline says it all. It says, NLE Chopper sued by Atlanta rapper Kilo Ali for alleged copyright infringement. Now, the story continues by saying, American rap star NLE Chopper, real name Bryson Potts, has been sued for copyright infringement over the track Make Em Say, released in August 2020, and taken from his album Top Shotta. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with NLE Chopper, he's a rapper from Memphis, and he's been in, man, he's he's had a, his fair share of negative headlines. I mean, there's times that you were like, man, what in the world is NLE Chopper doing? But he's got a very strong fan base, especially with the young, young crowd and the ladies. You know what I mean? And a lot of the things that he incorporates in his image, man, it just it just goes over well. And it's rumored that he got a big bag when he signed, man, and he, he, his business was all together. You know what I mean? That's why this lawsuit is a surprise. But when we get to the end, you'll understand that this happens all the time. Now, the story continues by saying Atlanta rapper Kilo Ali, a.k.a. Andrell Rogers, alleges that the vocal chorus from his song Love In Your Mouth was ripped off to create the melody in NLE Chopper's Make Em Say. Stop right there because this is wild because Love In Your Mouth is Kilo Ali's probably his biggest joint, man. The joint that everybody remembers him for. And it's the joint that, man, that he blew up with. Like, not really blew up. He had already been on, on and popping. Kilo Ali had a long career before Loving Your Mouth. But his career before that was more like, I hate to even categorize it, but it was like dance music, like more of the Luke bass style, more of the, man, there was a, back in the day, there was a time in Atlanta where everybody wasn't rapping lyrics, Everybody wasn't on what Outkast and the Dungeon Family brought. Before that, it was kind of like bass music mixed in with a little bit of melody. It was his own kind of thing, man. You had Kilo Ali. You had cats like, what is the dude, man? You had uh, Raheem the Dream. You had folks like that, right, all throughout Atlanta. It was just a different Atlanta. When I tell you it was a different Atlanta at that time, you would, man, you, would, you wouldn't even, it, night and day compared to what Atlanta is today. You know what I mean? Like... In good ways and bad ways, man, to be honest with you, man. Mostly in good ways, it was it was a little bit better, if you ask me. But that's only my personal opinion. Well, Kilo Ali shined during that time, man. And he was a star. Then he had an issue with, with personal issues. I ain't going to go into that. It was wild, to say the least. You could look it up. And then he came back with the Dungeon Family, signed the Interscope, and dropped Love, uh, Love in Your Mouth as his lead single with Big Boy on there. And it took off, man. They were playing this song years later. I'm talking about years later. It was a club favorite in Atlanta. You know what I mean? That's why people were already noticing the fact that it was similar to the track that NLE Chopper had called Make Em Say. Now, the story continues by saying Warner Music Group, Norva Denton, Senior Vice President and a and of Warner Records, NLE Chopper, Alien Records, its Vice President Ron Cableties, and several others are also named as defendants in the lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed against NLE Chopper and other defendants on Thursday, June 24th in California Central District Court on behalf of Kilo Ali, 
by Blas and Nitschke, the same firm that filed cases against somebody else that I can't name. According to the copy loss, copyright lawsuit, Rogers, a.k.a. Kilo Ali, is critically acclaimed rap music artist who has performed under the name Kilo Ali since 1991. Just like I said, Kilo Ali was in the rap game a long time, but for, man, most people was babies, you know, kids, or not even born, man, when Kilo Ali was, was had his first run in the game, you know what I mean? Okay, so the story continues to say this. It says, in Kilo Ali's complaint, it is explained that in around 1997, he composed the track Love in Your Mouth and recorded it for Interscope Records. The track was registered for copyright protection on August 26, 1998. Love in Your Mouth was released on Kilo Ali's album, Organized Bass, Interscope in 1997 and featured Outkast Big Boy. The claim obtained by MBW, which you could read in full here, alleges that throughout NLE Choppers Make Em Say, a distinctive sample of Kilo Ali's melodic vocal chorus from the sound recording embodying the original work comprises the melody of the infringing work. All right, so let's make sense of that. Basically, they're saying there's a part in Kilo Ali's chorus that's, that's a melodic portion of the song, right? And it's being used and sampled in NLE Choppers' song without being cleared. That's the easiest way to say all that, right? And that surprises me because NLE Chopper and his camp, they seem to have a business together. You know, it seems like their business is all square. You know what I mean? But I guess some fell through the, the cracks and they didn't clear the sample. Or maybe they did and Kilo Ali has no word of it. But either way, we'll find out in court, right? Now, additionally, Kilo Ali argues that the flow and pitch of the post chorus in NLE Chopper's track is substantially similar to the chorus in Love in Your Mouth. Further, the lyrics of the chorus and post-chorus of the infringed work resemble the lyrics of the chorus of the original work in word, sound, meaning, which invoke the heart of the original work as the filing. So basically, they're saying that even separate parts of the song were being used in NLE Chopper's version so that it encompasses the whole work. So whatever they took from Kilo Ali's original song, Love in Your Mouth, they wouldn't even have a song without it. So that's why he's looking to get all the proceeds from the song, I believe, man. Now, Kilo Ali's lawsuit states that his track, Loving Your Mouth, was sampled to create NLE Choppers Make Em Say, and none of the defendants hold a valid or enforceable license or any form of consent to use the sample of the sound recording. So basically saying that they didn't get it cleared, man. The legal document adds, defendants have not provided any attribution attribution excuse me to kilo ali for his authorship of the original work as reproduced and adapted in the infringing work now in exhibit a filed with the lawsuit kilo ali points to various youtube comments under nle chopper's video for make them say that make reference to similarities between the two songs and alleged use of a sample from love in your mouth so they're using youtube comments as their exhibit A, your honor, this is exhibit A. People in the comment section said this sounds like my song, basically. Funny, man, but let's continue. According to exhibit B, provided for reference with the suit, make them say composers include Potts, NLE Chopper, Alyssa Stevens, Zachary Thomas, Terrell McNeil, and Norva Denton, all of whom are named in the suit. Kilo Ali is demanding a trial by jury and seeks damages in the form of all gains, profits, and, and advantages derived by the defendant as a result of the unfair trade practices and unfair competition, as well as all gains, profits, and advantages derived by defendants as a result of their infringement on the plaintiff's copyright. So basically, he's saying that he wants all the profits from that song that it was ever made, all the YouTube money, everything that was off of that song, man, because it, they infringed on his copyright. And man, he might have a case. You never know. Now, for those of you who might be asking, why in the world is Kilo Ali suing in Ali Chopper? Well, the song has about 7 million, almost 8 million views on YouTube. And you don't know what it racked up in streams. So, man, it might be profitable. You never know. But also, he's probably also feeling a little disrespected by this new generation of rap. I mean, to be honest, as far as Kilo Ali is concerned... It's been like three generations of rap since he was popping, man. Let's be let's be real. Let's keep it funky, man. And it seems like he's trying to get his credit for his work, man. Now, 
this isn't odd. This isn't something that doesn't happen a lot. Like, at the end of this story, and that was pretty much the bulk of the NLE Chopper lawsuit part, but they talk about different lawsuits that are going on in hip-hop right now. You got Childish Gambino being sued. You have Kendrick Lamar. You've got Travis Scott. They're all being sued for copyright infringement, man, by different entities, by different artists, people you've never even heard of, and stuff like that, man. So, this isn't this isn't something new. And it goes and there's more than just hip hop artists on this list. It's all sorts of they got Lizzo on here. All sorts of people have been sued, man, for copyright infringement. So this is something that just as an artist, when you're being when you're getting big, you just deal with, man. And it just comes. It's just odd this time because it's somebody who actually from Atlanta is considered an Atlanta legend. He's well known in Atlanta circles. You know what I mean? Kilo Ali's name is still out there in certain circles or whatnot. Even though the young cast, man, you don't know who he is. I'm pretty sure. Now, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that NLE Chopper was doing Kilo Ali wrong? Or do you think Kilo Ali just wants his cut in on whatever was used out of his work? Now, with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.